Great White Brotherhood the awakening of consciousness. Give peace a chance. Everything and everyone was reflecting on the need of man to review his condition in the universe and with everything that surrounds him. He need to understand that he is one with nature and that he will never be happy as long as there is single suffering being on earth, no matter what realm of evolution he belongs to. The need to reach the understanding that will stop you from waiting for divine rewards and start living only for love and disinterested and brotherly love. This understanding will make man awaken to the real meaning of his existence at this moment in the planet, in addition to discovering what true means to quantum consciousness. The consciousness that will transform you into an efficient and creative agent of modification of the universe. Creative means were collaborative. The time has passed for man to stop being guided by the ancestral idea which is the most important being of nature, therefore having the right to reign absolute over it. There is no more time or space for this selfish man whose world revolves only around himself and his desires. He has to have a new look. That in this planetary transition we can take advantage of the present that is called today. May we have a new look at the needs of all our brothers who are part of the same nature that surrounds us and the possibilities of our interference in the universe. That they can get out of our habitual and whining passivity. May they stop thinking that it is enough to be a good person and try to be wise, us taking a step forward in the path of our obligations. And having wisdom means, among other things, understanding the moment and acting within it according to the need emanating from it, without waiting for higher beings to do it, for you. And the world did not end. Many lived moments of great expectation, by the media or religious sects, people were bombarded with ideas and pseudo-prophecies that heralded the end of time on the planet. They seemed to have forgotten that they were just the different interpretations of the directions of the life of this humanity. Some mystics, others esoteric, others opportunists, and still others traced in time immemorial by civilizations that left a lot to be said in the middle of the road. The fact is that there was not a single scientist or scholar who agreed with the alarmist tone that one wanted to print to the newsread in a distracted and light way from the papyri of universal history. What was speculated at that time, as the end of the world was just a change in a cycle, that is, a necessary change in the psychological and spiritual world of people, a transition between dimensions. It has nothing to do with the end of the physical world. The balance of the physical world, however, depends on the thought of man and for this reason, we can become, one day, the agents of planetary misfortunes, insofar, as we can force the universe to take to one side with your wrong decisions. If we all think about evil, for example, it will happen and, at this moment, the physical world will cease to exist, as we know it. They urgently need to make you better people. Read more about our conditioning and subjects of this type with a new look. Do not measure strength, just act to maintain the balance of nature, as there is no way to be negligent. You believe that one day you will be part of a single being. We also have our differences or we see ourselves as different at this moment, when we still do not fully understand the unity. You live in that duality in here and in human beings. You live in the illusion of your individualities, as if they were not just the expression of greater awareness. There was a time when men in earth were ruled by gods. 
beings from other celestial orbs that came to the aid of our incipient humanities. In that new dawn of civilizations, the naive minds of the men of the time made them believe that they were facing creatures of divine origin, and prodigious were their miracles. In the region of Egypt, in particular, 36,000 years before the Christian era, starmen were already carefully preparing to lead waves of individuals fleeing the great cataclysms that would forever change the face of the planet. In all sides of the earth, great migrations were taking place. Led by local leaders, who were men chosen and sensed by the gods among the most advanced of each people, they were invited to the most suitable places for their security and evolution. These chosen men were called hybrids and enlightened with the wisdom of the gods of space. These stellar beings were so advanced in every way that they were worshipped by humans as gods and generically called the illuminated, the nefarious, the illuminated, all from other orbs, were not as dense as the Terrans. The time, before the first human dynasty, was recorded in history as the age of the pyramids or the first age, of which little or nothing is known, and where the divine dynasties reigned. Invisible, the men of the stars were able not only to observe the earthlings but also to the new region where one of the most splendid ancestral civilizations would flourish on. However, it was not the first time that these beings were on planet Earth. Thousands of centuries before that time, colonists of Orion, Sirius, and the extinct planet Earth acted in Earth and the local humanities creating a fantastic civilization, which disappeared after major catastrophes that hit the entire planet due to the increase in the level of sun activity. These cataclysms caused huge regressions in evolutionary terms, in addition to genetic mutations, due to the shock waves of high energy content ending up leaving the Earth in silence and isolated from the rest of the galaxy for a period of three million years. In addition, after the departure of the gods, who instrumentalized local humanity for the necessary changes, each man, each cell of that people would need to make their change, because no one is illuminated by the light of others. The masters of the stars only served as an example, for however advanced civilization has become, as indeed happened with Egyptians at the time, each human needs to find his inner light. In our time, little or nothing remained of that splendor beyond the visible memories planted forever in those deserts. Even so, the majority of men still do not understand them. A new cycle should start one day. Until on this long journey of humans, in this journey that began in the night of time, all together, we can find the light of true brother we love. Until everyone arrives when it no longer matters to arrive, until no one else is concerned with enlightenment alone. Until everyone understands that civilization is just a reflection of its small cells, called humans. Until a single consciousness shines, humanity moves forward in its evolution. So be it. And he doesn't. The Traveler of the Stars decrees that. May all humanity live good days, full of love, peace, light and harmony. May the light be present in all hearts leading us to the awakening of consciousness for the work of Christ. May humanity live in the light, with the light, and for the light. So be it. Stay in the light. Friends and brothers, I want to thank you all for visiting the Traveler of the Stars page. The content is messages from the masters of the universe for the awakening of consciousness and the construction of a better world. 
I ask you to please share this page so you will be participating in the construction of a better world. Don't forget to click on the bell to know each post in this page as soon as it is published. Like a lot of like. Namaste.